to find a common denominator for two or more fractions. This is Brian and Sam. They're best friends. Hi, I'm Brian. I like to play football, baseball, basketball, and guitar. Hello, I'm Sam. I like to play video games, soccer, frisbee, and guitar. Brian and Sam are best friends, but they have a difficult time choosing something to do together. Sam always wants to play video games, but Brian hates video games. Brian always wants to play baseball or basketball, but Sam doesn't like those games. So, whenever they hang out, they compromise. There's one interest that they have in common. What do you think they play? I'll show you their interests again. Football, baseball, basketball, guitar. Video games, soccer, frisbee, and guitar. Which interests do they have in common? That's right. Guitar is their shared interest. So when they're together, they play guitar. This is six and nine. They're best friends too. Hi, I'm six. I like to play with six, twelve, eight, twenty-four, and thirty. Hey, I'm nine. I like to play with nine, eighteen, twenty-seven, thirty-six, and forty-five. Six and nine are best friends, just like Brian and Sam, but they have a difficult de time deciding who else to play with. Six always wants to invite 12 and 24 to play, but nine doesn't get along with them. Nine always wants to play with 27 and 36, but six thinks they are so annoying. So, whenever they hang out, they compromise. There's one friend they have in common. Who do you think they play with? To review, six likes 12, 6, 18, 24, and 30, and 9 likes 9, 18, 27, 36, and 45. Which friend do they have in common? Just like Brian and Sam have the guitar in common, 6 and 9 have 18 in common. Awesome! Let's connect it to our math statement now. Numbers like to hang out with their multiples. So six as friends are six, 12, 18, 24, and 30 because these are the first few multiples of six. If you count by sixes, these are the numbers you get. Nine's friends are nine, 18, 27, 36, and 45 because these are the first few multiples of nine. If you count by nines, those are the numbers you get. To find a common denominator for two or more fractions, you need to find a multiple, a friend, that all the denominators have in common. Here's an example. Find a common denominator for one-sixth and five-ninths. What friend do they have in common? Six and nine. Hmm. Well, we already saw with our friends six and nine that they are both friends with 18. So 18 is our common denominator for 1 sixth and 5 ninths. Here's another example. Find a common denominator for 1 fourth, 3 fifths, and 7 eighths. What friend do 4, 5, and 8 have in common? Hmm. Let's list 4's friends first. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. I'll stop there. Now let's list 5's friends. 5 likes to hang out with 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. Finally, we need to list 8's friends. 8, 16, 24, 32, 40, 48. Is there a number that's on all three of these lists? I don't
don't see one. So we must need to come up with more friends. Let's go back to four. We've already said that four is friends with four, eight, 12, 16, 20, and 24. Let's keep counting. 28 is a friend of four. 32, 36, and 40. We'll stop there. We already know five is friends with five, 10, 15, 20, 25, and 30. It's also friends with 35, 40, 45, and 50. <gasps> I see one now that's on all three lists. I've got a 40 here, 40 here, and a 40 here. 40 is friends with 4, 5, and 8. So 40 is our common denominator for 1 fourth, 3 fifths, and 7 eighths. Now you try. Find a common denominator for 1 fifth and one-sixth. You need to find a, a number they are both friends with. Pause the video while you work that out. That's right. Five and six are both friends with 30. You try again. Find a common denominator for one-fourth, one-tenth, and eight-twentieths. You're finding a friend that four 10, and 20 have in common. Pause the video while you work on this. I'll show you how I would work this out. Four's friends are four, eight, 12, 16, 20, 24, and 28. 10's friends are 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, and 60. 20's friends are 20, 40, 60, 80, and 100. Which number are they all friends with? They're all friends with the number 20. So 20 is the common denominator for fourths, tenths, and twentieths. I can find a common denominator for two or more fractions. Can you?